You know what would really be a very boring platformer game? Ones with basic shapes, like for example these planes, so plain old planes. So let's uh, see what I mean with this one. So let's scale this one up, and let's alt click to duplicate, and let's here rotate our player 180 degrees, and let's play our game to see what I mean. So he just jumps, he just jumps, and he jumps forever. So this is boring. We need different kinds of platformers. So this is where I want to create a launch pad. So click here on this icon and then click new empty blueprint class. Click actor and then it created the folder for us blueprints. And let's give it this name BP from blueprint and then for example launch pad and hit save. This is one way to uh, do it. Another way you could do it as going content. Now this created folder for us, but you can also right click blueprint class and you have the same window we had before. So in our blueprint class, let's here drag in a plane. You can also type in the word plane if you don't see it, just plane. And let's uh, name this to launch pad. And what I'm going to do now is hit compile and I can already drag this inside of my level. So then I can see, by the way, this uh, you see this flickering here. It is C fighting with this one here, so drag it up just a little bit. And now when I walk with my player to it, I see this is uh, too small. So let's increase the size of this one. So select those. About two times the size will be fine. So when I come back here, yeah, this is way better. Okay, so what I then want to do, this is just a placement holder. We can uh, add different images and 3D models later on on this. With the launch pad selected, I click add and type in box. I need a box collision. So the box can uh, make sure it is underneath these. So you can do it like this. It needs to be in this order because the box is attached to my launch pad. See, if I move my launch pad, it follows. So Ctrl Z to undo that. But we need to scale up the box. So the box size here, increase this one, increase this one. So it covers the box. I look at this from different sides. I need just to scale it up a little bit more. Okay, and then I need to move this in the position with the box selected. Okay, look at it from different sides. Okay, just when the player is on here. And okay, I think this is fine. So when my player collides with the box, then something needs to happen. This launch pad is just for visual representation. So with the box selected, go down here, you can click on component begin overlap, or you can also have this one selected. Right click at event and you have the same thing right here on component begin overlap. Now we want to uh, launch our player in the air when our player uh, collides with this box. So from other actor, dragon, cast to and then third person character. Uh, in my example here, it is in content, third person, blueprint. This was my character and this is the name I'm going to use. If you chose a different name, then you need to cast to and then whatever name you chose, for example, BP underscore player might be an option for you. So this name needs to be here. Okay, and from this node on, I can uh, drag off and Unreal has a very cool function with this, namely launch character. I see the function right here. And we need some room, so drag this off. What we're then going to do is uh, make sure that as our third person character, we get launched in the air in the correct uh, way. And now you can see in Unreal, so when I go back here to uh, my view here, you see the X, Y, and Z axes, and Z is up. So you can also see this whenever I, uh, for example, have this one here. You can see the Z axis. You can see this is up. Ctrl Z to undo that one. So what I'm going to do, instead of launch velocity like this, I'm going to go right click, split structure pin, and then you can see I have the velocity of Z separately. So now let's access this. We need our character movement from uh, our third person character. Character movement. Because when I get the character movement, then I can access the jump velocity. So type in jump velocity and the jump Z velocity because Z is up in Unreal. So my player is colliding with this so I can get the character movement, namely how he's in the air. And then we need to multiply with how high I want it to be. So drag off, then hit the multiply, or you can type in multiply, and have this one selected. Then connect this up to the launch Z velocity, 
and let's set it at default as one. And I'm going to override the Z velocity of uh, this function. Now, when I hit compile, you can see there is an error because the target here is self and with self, it means the platform itself. So my, uh, my target will be my third person character in this case. So also make sure these wires are connected, hit compile, save, and let's play. And now you can see when my player walks on this, he gets launched in the air. Okay. So maybe uh, let's, let's move this up a bit in front of my player. Now, this was not very high, so uh, let's come here. And instead of one, let's go with two. And this will already be a big increase. So you can really see now he jumps really high like this. Maybe you want it like this. I want it in between. So since this is a float, you can go with 1.5 maybe. Okay. And then you can go, yeah, and now it jumps like this. I think I like 1.5 for this. Okay, so this is our launch platform. And what you can do now is drag it here, hit all drag and separate it a bit. And now let's go test this out. So jump on here and jump to the different platforms. Now, this is already way more fun than uh, the ones that I started out with. Now, this looks just plain old boring, if you get what I mean. So the coding logic is done for this. By the way, uh, you, you don't need those. You can grab and delete or just leave this as is. Back in the viewport, we can add a 3D model instead of this launchpad plane. Now it's time to replace this uh, plane or uh, placeholder image. Some developers do this after prototyping. I like to do this already since this is a small tweak for us. So click add and then static mesh. You can also type in static mesh if you can't find it and click here on static mesh. And you can also name this launchpad finished or something whatever name you would like it to be and have this one selected and here under static mesh you can choose uh, a model that you have in your unreal asset browser so go to content drawer and in our asian village pack we can go to meshes and then uh, you can choose any you like i uh, saw one here in props you can also drag this off and like this uh, stone flower bed for example so have that one selected you can click here on the arrow use you could also uh, select one here from the arrow but I like to do it like this and now I can see uh, this needs to be scaled and moved up a bit so maybe scale it a little bit like this and then you need to move this down so now when I hit F and alt drag around I can see okay maybe increase the scale just a little bit down here so my box is fine and then I need to move this this box maybe you can also move the box up if you need to. So make sure to look at it from different angles. You can look also from perspective, from, uh, for example, the front and from uh, left or right. And you can see that our box maybe uh, needs some scaling or our uh, finished launch pad maybe needs to be tweaked down a little bit. And look at it from different sides and back to perspective if you like your changes like this. Okay, if you no longer need this launch pad, you can hit the box selected and drag it under the finished launch pad. Then this one was the, the plane, the, the placeholder. Click this one, you can delete this. Then hit compile, save. Look at once again from different sides if you're happy with your changes. And then you can go back into the level. And now these ones are uh, ad uh, adjusted already. So these look prettier now. And we have something pretty cool going on right here. And now every time I go in my content drawer, content was in the blueprints folder, and I drag this one in, I already have the correct model. And this is how you add launch pads to your game.